A copy is never better than an original. You cannot be the best by being someone else. You can only be the best by being yourself. Stop trying to do exactly what everyone is telling you. Stop emulating what others do. Stop trying to find that secret to success. The best, easiest way to make money or become successful. As Albert Einstein put it, the one who follows the crowd will usually go no further than the crowd. Those That's who walk fact. alone are likely to find themselves in places no one has ever seen before. If you continue to directly follow every advice or trick you hear, you will destroy yourself. Mm -hmm. There will be nothing left from that unique you, the one like no other on this planet. The I say, bro, I'll say that all the time. Like, you, whoever is listening to this, you need to reinforce the fact that you are one of one. Like, you are you for a reason. Nobody else in this world is you. And because of that, you have unique experiences to bring to other people and to show the world. You don't need to be like everybody else. Like the average per I said there's another uh, average in uh, a, a video a while back. The average person is broke, in debt, overweight, unconfident. Why would you want to be af average, bro? Why would you want to follow what everybody else is thinking? You don't want to. The one who can do great, creative, and truly myself, special things in this world. There are so many people in the world right now ready to tell you what to do, how to structure your day, what habits to follow, who to talk to, what business to start, and even who to begin a relationship with. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely ridiculous. Every other guy on the internet is trying to tell you that this is the specific way, or even successful people telling you that this is the only way you can do something. The truth is, they're all wrong. Friedrich Nietzsche wrote, the individual has always had to struggle to keep from being overwhelmed by the tribe. If you try it, you will be lonely often, and sometimes frightened. But no price is too high to pay for the privilege of owning yourself. Yeah, um, when you listen to, so like even with like me telling you what I'm telling you, I'm telling you everything that I know from, I don't know if you heard that, but that was a loud, a little no, no, my fault. But I'm telling you everything I know from my experiences. Uh, these are my worldviews and my thinking. Um, and so a lot of times when people tell you to to think a certain way and if people listen to that, that those ideologies you're just becoming a second version of that person telling you what to do you're not being yourself you're being one of them it's like a it's like a cult mentality i don't think people realize that either so i don't want you to think like me think for yourself that's what i want you to do I don't think like me think for yourself people are just saying what worked for them what they right, think see? is right yeah but the right thing for someone else is not necessarily the right one for you right even i always say apply what i tell you and see if it works it for yourself if you not to don't use the same it path. frankly most people who we consider successful have their own ways which they have figured out for themselves nikola tesla would sleep only two to three hours per night and take naps during the day while einstein would sometimes sleep even as much as 11 hours per night both were exceptional scientists don't have to wake up at 5 a.m. as every other guy on TikTok will tell you. Of course, there is some wonderful general advice many people can offer to you, but when it comes to more personal things, they do not know what they're talking about. It's about you. It's about what you find to be important, what mm. your values are, and how you want to live your life. Mm. Don't just accept the values of other people. You have to figure it out for yourself. Yeah, when you don't have a purpose one will be assigned to you when you don't have values for yourself you will take on the values of other people learn who you are for your, learn who you are and what you like to do and your worldviews and what you think of the world when people go when the crowd goes one way it's usually best to go the other telling you how to live your life they can tell you what they think is right and you shall listen but don't copy anyone or do exactly what they tell you the most important thing is to be true to yourself and truly admire your own actions. Otherwise, you gotta change something. And yes, in this video, I will be a bit of a guide telling you what to do too. You listen, and then figure it out for yourself. First of all, success and happiness in life are, by most part, subjective. Even if it was the same for all, there is no single thing anyone can recommend to help you achieve that. 
It's usually achieved when you admire what you're doing and find your way in it. You will never become the best while blindly emulating others. You'll always stay behind the ones you're copying. Instead, you have to be unique. And the only way to be unique is to be yourself. Yep. Use your uniqueness. A person just like you will never exist again and have never existed before. Exactly. Know thyself is a philosophical maxim that has been around for thousands of years since ancient Greece. It has stuck around for an important reason. You need to analyze your own self. Understand what is the unique knowledge, experience, and talent you have been given in this life. Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, To be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. A lot of people try to forcefully tell you what is important in life. True. You gotta do this, or you gotta do this, otherwise you're a loser. Facts. Try to separate yourself from all this outside noise and dig Tradi deep Traditional your thinking will have you thinking a certain way about yourself. You, as that is the only thing that matters. If you spend your whole life pursuing something others forcefully told you is important, you will be miserable. Yep. There are not a lot of things worse than spending so much time on something that doesn't even matter to you. Pleasing others is not the way you want to live your life. Blindly following the advice of others is the wrong path to take. Mm -hmm. In our society, we have this false idea that everything can be taught. But if something can be simply taught, that means you are replaceable, not unique. The true things that make you successful, that make you the best at something, cannot be taught, only learned through distinctive life experiences or predispositions. You often don't really get to choose what specific and distinctive skills you have. They come effortlessly from who you are. The best thing you can do is analyze yourself what has been built inside of you through all these years, and then leverage it to your maximum ability. Think, who are you really? What is special about you? And don't say nothing, because that is false. Yeah, that's often the hardest question to ask yourself, or to answer, what is special about you? And who are you and who you want to be? Those are often the hardest questions to ask. Um, um, a lot of people they ignore those questions because they know it's too hard to ask and then you have some people who um that's all they think about you know and then you have other people who know the answer and they, you know they're just living it out in their day-to-day -day life so people all go through different stages of those questions and some people just have a much harder time finding the answers than others do i think the easiest way to do it is just isolate yourself self-reflect uh be self-aware of what you lack um be self-aware of what you want and then don't focus on what you want to have focus on who you want to be and everything else will fall into place the thing that is going to make you successful the advantage you have over everyone else can only be discovered by pursuing your innate self authenticity given talents curiosities and true passions reaching true success and peace is not achieved by choosing the hottest field or finding the quickest way to make money at this exact moment Understand that if you're not 100% involved, fully committed to what you're doing, someone who is will easily beat you. Mm -hmm. If to them it's everything and to you it's not, you have no chance. Oh, everyone's doing this. My parents told me to stop this nonsense and become a lawyer. All my friends are going into engineering or a guy on the internet says I should start affiliate marketing. <laughs> Forget all this. Yeah. Think about what you actually want what to do. What do you want? What feels yeah. like hard work to others, but play to you. What are you good at? Or what could you be good at? The enemy is what people are trying to tell you you should be interested in. So many young people fall into this trap and never realize and execute on their unique talents. Don't be one of them. It's such generic advice, but why do most people never actually follow it? I want you to truly think about it. In this world, you come as a person completely unique. No one has the same DNA and no one went through what you did. Your exact DNA has never existed in billions of years before and will never exist in all future that is incoming. Isn't that beautiful? If you cultivate what's special about you, everything else will come. Don't worry about the current trends. They always change. Don't worry what other people tell you to do. Why? Because you're doesn't matter. fulfilled when you're doing what feels important and special to you. Look at all the tiny details in your childhood and your current life. What is something you love to do that you can leverage to help others? And if you have already discovered it, I'm truly happy for you. I've heard this a hundred times and just finally understood it. 
The most important thing you can do in life is know who you are. It was a pleasure to create this video, on you. and I wish you a great day. Hey, that's a good video, man. It's very important for you to learn who you are, and that's the, that's the hardest question. That's the hardest journey. Hardest thing is to know who you are, what your habits are, your talents are, what you love about the world, what you love about yourself, why you love certain things. I think the, the most of the question you have to ask yourself is why. Why you do the things you do, why you believe the things you believe. You get to those roots and you'll start to learn more about what you want. With that being said, though, take some time to reflect on this. Take some time to reflect on what you want out of life. With that being said, until the next one.